round and round we go like a blunt in rotation. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Blunt Opinion right here on All Dev Cannabis. I'm your host, Chinadu, joined by my amazing panel of very talented comedians. I'm going to some all first right now. First, we have the very funny Mark Boyd, Mr. So Major Smith, uh, my very good friend, Kenise, and of course, the very talented and hilarious, the foul mouth fan Fatal herself, Miss Roxy Hayes. Hey. Today's blunt opinion topic, and as you say, you know, we, we choose a topic, and it's us, you know, a free for all of discussion, making sure we get our thoughts out. And of course, we will have our super official referee, Roxy Hayes, to you know, wrangle us in when we start talking too much stuff. So we ramble on a whole lot. We only got like an hour, you know what I'm saying? They only plan for hours. That's an hour we gotta go, you know what I'm saying? We only got an hour. So you gonna be in about an hour, about an hour, you know what I'm saying? About an hour. And again, our referee Roxy Hayes will wrangle us in when we when she feels like we're rambling too much on today's topic because I feel like today's topic can be talked about for hours. And today's topic uh, is going to be I've written down here. It is dating a creative, the Ooh. ups and the downs. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> now, uh, I will I, I would like to ask uh, which one of my comedians would like to take the floor first on this topic. Ooh. I I got a question. Oh. Is mm -hmm. it is it from whose perspective the right good question or the person whom uh, uh, is dating such creative? It, it can be both. Uh, uh, for, uh, for this blunt opinion, this is a free for all though because the topic is so vast. We can really come at it from very very a variant of angles though. We can come at it from what it's like as us being a creative dating. We can also discuss what we feel like it's like dating us as a creative. We can also discuss what it's like dating female creatives and Roxy Hayes will of course give her take on what it's like dating male creatives as well. This will be a, a, a lengthy discussion. That's why I have Roxy as the referee kind of wrangling us back in. Because this this can tail off in different parts or whatever. And uh I want to make sure we try to get as much of this, this discussion as possible. And everyone watching at home, please chime in the comment sections your thoughts on this. If you date creatives yourself or if you want to date one, you know what I'm saying? I got some creatives out here that definitely need somebody to talk to. They need a cosigner really, but they looking for love. This is all as much. They okay. need a cosigner oh. really. Yeah, that's what uh you know. Yeah, that's a uh, that's a part of it too, man. Uh, because to me, when you date a creative, in my opinion, uh, depending on what level they're at, be prepared to date somebody that does not have a whole lot of money. Damn, um, nigga, how come? That, no medical <laughs> insurance, no dental plan, no uh, uh, no gas money. No, but yeah, he said no gas true. money, no it weed money structure. <laughs> Is what they is uh the downfall is like my thing is this on. I've dated creatives who I dated creatives myself, right? You know what I'm saying? And what's so crazy is that she knows she's a creative, and as y'all just said, you feel me? Hey, yo, be prepared, no insurance. <laughs> we ain't got that, but how <laughs> she should know that because she in the same boat, but she got yeah. city girl aspirations. <laughs> I mean, I mean, let's, let's, let's make that make sense. But I think uh, uh, one thing that's one thing that's great, like a pro about great dating the creative. Uh, I think uh, you're always inspired, right? Because mm -hmm. people are always gonna, uh, uh, especially being creative, it can take the smallest things that it, that inspires you as a comedian per se to mm -hmm. make the greatest bit ever. Something so simple that can inspire you. So imagine when it's somebody souped up on the same drugs as you. You mm -hmm. with you, but mm -hmm. uh, souped up yeah. on the same creative energy as you are. You know what I'm trying to yeah. say? So now it's like, oh, okay. You know, uh, that's why I always was like, I've been new Jay Z and Beyonce could work. They're both creative species, like, and they just will continue to just keep going. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? They're inspired by each other. They make albums about each other. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. And uh, and, uh, uh, and Kenise, not to uh, not to uh, cut you off though, but uh, as you were talking about it, I really thought of a, of a a really good way for all of us to get these thoughts out though. Just like you said, too. How about all of us give an up and a down? What we feel is like dating creative, mm. as well as our own thoughts. That way, we I feel it can be more stream, more streamlined, more efficiently, so we can all get those thoughts out that way. Does, does that does that work for everybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your, it's your world, baby. It is. Actually, you know, you know, you you, you know what you're right because because see the square. I mean, that's the whole square. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I got you. Hold on, I got you. What's that? You, you uh, see it? Not the whole it. square. Big host energy out here. Okay. <laughs> How do you just get louder? What are we too? doing? <laughs> I got, I got that big hosting. <laughs> you get the shit out of me like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, hey, man, I got that close. 
but um, but uh, I'm sorry, but uh, Kenise, but uh, uh, please continue, okay. sir. So up or down, and then uh, real quick thoughts. I would definitely say another. Uh, well, up is uh, uh, that you'll always be inspired. You'll learn a lot of things. Like you'll learn some. You'll learn about one small aspect that you didn't know or whatever. Like me dating a creative, I learned that women care about the small things, and when you can fix those small things or whatnot. You'll gain a bigger fan base. You'll be respected more. This and that. Wow. Meanwhile, she learned she learned uh, uh, that this is what you have to do in business. This is how you go from A to B to the next thing. And also, hey, yo, be persistent and just have you know what you got. So you can learn a lot and be inspired because you're like they doing something. Let me do something. And that's always around you. So you're gonna be on your game. Uh, bad part is you know it's, it's easy to fall for bad habits than it is to be uh, uh in you know uh influenced by the great habits so uh the bad habits is you know what i'm saying being lazy you know what i'm saying uh uh procrastination <laughs> uh, uh uh and also you know shit like um uh people got mental health issues illness you know oh saying? let's go yes <laughs> i would like to, I'm gonna just, can i just i'm gonna leave it right there i'm gonna leave it right there so I want to say um, yeah. for for the time that we are in right now, like economic landscape, relationship landscape, uh, overall, just interpersonal landscape, as far as like people in self-care, like uh, this is a time where like people got to understand uh, well, first the time for understanding, really, like, uh, you know, what I'm saying you with somebody and if they're an entrepreneur, I say that that's a big lane because you're trying to start your own thing and bring something from nothing. And, you, and there's a lot of creative aspects. So being somebody that's been a creative and dated a creative like it's tested me in so many ways of being like dang what's this person needs in their situation and what are my needs you dating a woman that's a, what women are bosses these days so you dating a woman that's a boss she may be busy more nights and then you want to go up you want to what you wanted to lay up that night now you can't because she's a, you know what I'm saying it's just a whole thing people got trauma all these type of things i think that uh being a creative is like in tune with a lot of other things going on but it's still unique just because you still are creating things from inside and using your own life which could be crazy you know what i'm saying to, to output and that's a lot of times your money and income so that's that oh, i guess i didn't say the this negatives you're real club housey but um... <laughs> <laughs> i say i say nigga with all due respect nigga respectfully respectfully <laughs> my kings and queens um but uh no, the negative side is <laughs> my, i'm gonna give y'all a real gym real quick uh my my neck the, the last thing is that niggas be crazy man and so do, everybody's crazy uh, in their own way so like nigga, you dealing with motherfuckers you, you dealing with motherfuckers what traumas that they haven't really worked through and that's just gonna pop up because they fucking feeling all these doubts and unsureties within their career and shit like that so just like if they don't have a, a level head of how to deal with themselves physically mission mentally and emotionally like that's that's where it could get real bad so it's like you need to make sure that's a healthy person i would say because that can it can go really ugly you know what i'm saying so that is the downside i'd say uh yeah Great. Um, can, I, can i go next <laughs> of course right. yeah, yeah absolutely yo okay um so i'm coming from like same same being a creative having dated the creative and having dated creatives that are like financially <laughs> good like like not no cap Ooh. no cap I've been big bagging, big bagging, blue checks. Oh, I'm let them know. Fucking, let them know. Fucking, you got a blue check? Okay, I'm sorry. On, talk no, to no, no, no. Legit, <laughs> legit, though. Legit. But no, for real. There, there is definitely a difference in dating somebody that is successful in their field and somebody that's not. Like, just the level of doubt that tends to come. Let me just start the next one. Like, the level of doubt that tends to come when you're dating somebody who not is not just them building it. But they're not sure where it's going. You know what I mean? Like, mm. like maybe they've been doing it for a while and nothing's really come from it. And when you're doing well, so like I've been doing pretty well for the past like five years. Not great, but like I've been growing over the past five years. So like I've dated dudes that maybe have been doing stuff longer than me that aren't as far along as me. So it's the jealousy mm. aspect that comes with it. It's the them trying to implant self doubt in you because they're not Ooh. making it. Um, on, I've Roxy. also I've dated dudes that like even that even though they're successful they'll try to talk down because you're not as successful as them so that's also like a thing just like the gaslighting is crazy especially Ugh. like yep. I'm coming from like being a woman 
So like dating a man who's less successful than you is an ego bruiser. You know what I mean? Like it, a lot of dudes' egos tend to get in the way and that fucks it up. Um, on the other side, it's kind of what all of y'all said, like on the positive note is like dating somebody who really understands what you're doing. You don't have to explain why you're gone at two, three in the morning. Like, it's just a sense of like, you know, why I'm gone. You know, I'm out here working and there's a certain level of trust because you do the same thing. So it's just a different understanding that comes with that. Um, and when they have money, it's great because <laughs> then they pay for shit, um, <laughs> which is amazing. But just like it's also like ins- in- inspirational, like watching somebody do something and watch them be financially stable doing it, it. It should inspire you. Like, I feel like if you're not a piece of shit, if you're dating somebody that's doing well, it should inspire you to want to do well as well and not be jealous. So I think that's good. Niggas be hating. They be Roxy, hating. yes, Roxy. Roxy, beautiful, amazing perspective for real. When I tell you, <laughs> when I tell you, hold on. <laughs> we gonna talk about Roxy. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. My ex fiance that was broke, uh, Chinadu hated him, but we'll get into that after major, right? <laughs> oh. Man, I didn't listen. We ain't gonna talk about on camera. I was gonna say we gonna talk about. We, I was gonna say we gonna talk about. Uh, uh, I mean, shit, we on camera. We can't look. Look, 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 we gonna we 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 definitely gonna get into it because it's real. I I I ain't like that nigga. I did not. Okay, listen. I don't. And they, I love everybody. Abusive, I'm sure. Know, but I did not. I I did not. Damn, want you ain't to like Jacob. That wasn't his name. I'm I sorry. did not. <laughs> <laughs> but I did. I did not want that dude for my friend. But we'll get into that after major. You give your ups and your downs, sir. Um. This is crazy because I need I need to do better. This really showed me I don't date creative women at all. They, <laughs> <laughs> I don't date create. They be regular as fuck. I don't. That's probably great. That's probably great for you. But no, um, I don't have had any trouble dating as far as when they think I'm a comedian. Because when I tell them I'm a comedian, because one, they they think I'm funny, so they they be kind of believing in me. A little bit, so I didn't had this shit. This mic, this camera, I didn't buy this. It was like Ooh, you took oh, your funny flex, ass over there. Flex. Okay, you know, oh, let them know, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And then uh, my card ain't never declined on no date. You know what I mean? Uh, shit, I still keep a regular job. That's that's a that's a cheat code. Keep your ass a regular job. <laughs> you get booked a lot. Yeah, yeah, that, that, is very, that is very that is very major. Job. That's word straight up. But uh, no, nah, I really oh, have no. God. There's really no downs because one, I date regular ass women, and two, they be believing in me. That I think that, that's a good point though, for real. Because like you have to date people that believe in you and support you. Like I know a lot of people that are married to people yeah. that don't support them, and it's just so taxing on you yeah. mentally when you're trying to do shit. Roxy, yeah. I, 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 Roxy, to... I, I, def, I definitely agree because, uh, like me myself, I'm married, and uh, like I've been, Beautiful. I've been at this for, I've been at this for a really long time. My wife is, my wife is actually the CBO of what of our company, of our whole entire company. Oh, she's smart. our team. So, she, so she gonna take her half either way. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah listen. <laughs> if I listen, if I mess up, I'm in. I, I I'm in. I'm in that. She already got half. Care. Yeah, I'm in that, like I'm in that, she'll get she'll get three fourths now. Yeah, I'm in that boat with if, if, if we break up, half of it's gone. It's just all I just already have to accept this half gonna be gone though. But dating someone that does support you really does it makes a tremendous amount of difference though. Because like you said, I've seen people who have tremendous talent, but the person they dated don't understand the lifestyle or the world of a creative. They they understand stability. And if you don't pop off in the first two, three months, or if you you know, I'm gonna give yeah. you one summer. You got one Girl, summer one to make summer. it happen to like, like, like it's some kind of like after school special. This is your life career that they trying to make you come like, like compartmentalize yeah, like, this one. shit done next month. That's <laughs> kinda, I kind of I kind of like those sometimes like as a single uh, guy, I kind of like those girls that, that have like that. Hey, yo, it's going to happen like real quick. Cause, cause that's why they fucked me just in case. I appreciate that. Case. Because wow. they don't they know passing out that just in case pussy. They will go on Instagram, <laughs> TikTok. They be like, "Oh, he might be something." They don't like yeah. me, but they like that other people like me, yeah. and so they don't know what a- what's going to happen. So they're more geared toward uh, fucking me in case. So if that if I blow up, they get 
I used to fuck hey. with him. Hey. Oh my god. Hey, so can you, I know this. That is a perspective, like, that. That is actually. It right. is. Hey, shout out it's to, a, that. Shout out to those ladies. Though. Shout out to those ladies. I appreciate y'all. Y'all were wrong. Or oh, not. But, uh, <laughs> I was wrong. It ain't finna <laughs> Thank you for the bun. Shut up. Thank you for the bun. I appreciate you thinking that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, somebody <laughs> thinks you're blow up. You're I'm you're not finna argue with you. I'm going to accept that blessing. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm receive that. You look like you're going to blow up, so you're going to be big. You right. Sex time, and that's it. So yeah, so shout out to you for believing in me. But no, you you're right. We we do need to find people that believe in us. Every creative needs a person. I dated a girl who didn't believe at all because she wanted. That's another problem with creatives. We see it as we see it. So sometimes we would like, like in theory, it's oh, date another creative. She would understand me. Yeah. Not all the time, mm -hmm. but. Right, but I get it. In theory, it's like, yo, like, because another creative can see, mm -hmm. not just potential. They can see promise. Like, how many of y'all looked at other comedians or other what you call it? You was like, this nigga gonna make it. And five years later, this nigga was big. It's happened. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. I already knew. I mean, it, it wasn't hard to tell that. Well, I'm not even gonna name the niggas, but there's a lot of people you look at. You like that nigga gonna be big. And then three, four years later, they end up being huge. It's, it, we can we can see that. Mm -hmm. But people who aren't creative, they can't see that. They they think that, like, for instance, not being rude, but everybody always says, Savannah James, you know, they talk about LeBron James' wife. Savannah James was dating him since uh, high school. They were high school. She saw his potential. Potential, baby, he's 6'8". 200 pounds in the ninth grade. That's not, that's not he, hard to see. That's not yeah, hard. he was bouncing yeah, the ball already. Man. He was driving a Hummer in 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 tenth grade. He yeah, got that, over, that, right? yeah. That nigga put ten to all him all types of stuff. He had to check. <laughs> baby, you knew she didn't really invest <laughs> to take a lot of risk. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. There was no risk there. But it's like, but what I'm saying, she is, held it down. Did she though? Mm -hmm. And and, 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 I, and same thing, with, this, six, same thing okay. with all these athletes that be like, <laughs> man, nobody said I would make it. Nigga, you are seven foot. For real. Said you was gonna make it, nigga. for real, stop bro, it. You, you run a four three forty, bro. Well, who said that to you? <laughs> I'm at least who said that to you. I'm at least get that two year con that first two years before you get cut at the very least. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but a creative can look at a creative from across the room and see, oh, this person is giant within their career. This person, I mean, within their talent and their art, they are giant. All it takes for them to go to Duke. I'm just saying that in, in the analogy of being seen, that they will be the biggest thing ever. Another creative could look at a creative and say that. So that's that's something, you know, uh, uh, to add to it. My bad. No, no, no. Uh, no very, I got a very, point of very view, I got a point of view that niggas look. I, I, I got one that uh, may look as toxic, and I just want to know what I'm going to take the insecure side. I was dating a very talented photographer recently, right? Beast. Like magazine level, been on shade room, beastly snapping out. Like we had, she had a studio at the crib, and like people would come through that were like do, killing it in music, right? And so, but part of that whole thing is being out and about. Yeah, posting is a bit, but being out and about and you flirting with like you flirting mm -hmm. is a part of the game. And so yeah. I would say okay. you need to if you were a baddie and she's a creative, are you mm -hmm. holding her back? But this is what I was level. Am I holding you back in your career by being like, no, this pussy's mine, right? So I had to, I was, I had to like let let have a, a a longer leash, and we had to have discussions of like poly or openness or things like that. And I just feel like it crumbled me a little bit because it's just like th that situation. I mean, I don't need to go into it, but it's just like that situation could just be like, damn, I'm I'm a creative bitch like me too, but it's just like you, I have to let my girl go flirt right now. To, so that she could keep her pocket full. She's fucked that up. Bitch ain't gotta flirt. Yeah, but I don't want to hear that. No, no, no. Who brought up the? No. Oh, 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 Roxy, go ahead, Roxy. Well, no, 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 no. Go ahead, Chandler, with your question. I was gonna rebuttal major, but I will do mine now, all at once. Uh, uh, now, 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 Mark, uh, <laughs> who uh, who brought up the uh, who brought up the, the the discussion of of an open relationship or a polyamorous relationship? Was it you or her? Woo! So I thought I was 
I was me in the beginning. She, I was just like, hey, look, look, look. Because this is before COVID. I was like, look, a nigga might be going on a road soon, shorty. So, and this is when we first met. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm going to just, just let you know that if, if I'm on the road, I'm smashing. Like, not exactly that, not but kind of that. It's not funny. And, and then <laughs> she was like, okay, yeah. She was like, she was like, she, no, she at first didn't, wasn't with it, right? And then the truth, first of all, when you tell a girl the truth like that, just like, hey, look, I, you are number three of my lineup. They, if they really fuck with you, they you do math and they decide. Them no, you don't no, tell I don't say you number. Don't, I don't you say told number. her she's number three? No, I don't say a number. <laughs> I'm like, hey, look, look, look. Well, that's hey, look, what you look. get. Now, now this is hey. what you get. Keep going. No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> hey look, look. They're ranking. Hey, look, I was, I am a reformed savage, I guess. Not really, but hey, look, 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 look. Mm -hmm. um, I'm messing with other chicks. That is what it is. Um, mm -hmm. You can that's do what, what you want. Do. Okay. Yes, that's the truth. And then they do the math in their mind, and then they say, okay, I think I can deal with that. Okay, cool. You're you're signing yourself up for a whole world. Telling, I'm just telling you this world that I fell into. Okay, so they're mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, which means they have six niggas in their mind. First of all, okay. Mm -hmm. So then, so then she, she, time goes on, and then we fall into COVID. We get into a real relationship, and we're both talking to other people and shit. Her shit is going crazy. Stand up and shut down for me. So the dynamic is and fucking now shifted. Shift. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Shift still yeah. still yeah. doing shoots and going mm -hmm. crazy, and I look like a bum. You know what I'm saying? That's what it so was. Okay. It, so the, so the insecurity now, popped up. So now, mm -hmm. well, it's not even like, yes. I mean, what am I trying to like? Yes. Just like now. Fucking, I'm hearing about every friend, or you're looking for you're looking for a a, a a assistant, and it's some nigga that you smashed before, and I'm seeing you giggle on the phone and shit, and I'm like, nigga. now I want to recall. I don't like this. Okay. okay, okay, and she get off the phone, and I'm like, did you guys smash? And she's like, why would you ask that? Are you insecure? Why did you ask that? You shouldn't ask yeah. that. Uh, what? D d if you did okay, she? Whoa, whoa, whoa! But, but hold, on, hold on, but Mark, but did she answer it though? Did she answer? <laughs> yes, she was like, she was like, first she yeah. was like. Why would you? She was like, "Why would you ask that?" She didn't want to. Like, she rolled her eyes. Like, why would you even ask that? You know what I'm saying? Or and then I was like, "Because the way you're acting, I could tell in your body language that yeah. you're, you, you know, what I'm saying something is happening with this nigga." And and it got really weird. And then she just eventually said, "Yeah." She eventually said, I'm, "Uh, yes, okay, I, gonna, I did." Back in the day, I'm gonna interject real quick because this is something that I talk about all the time. It's always uh -huh. interesting. People be thinking that they want open relationships, and a lot of people don't. Like you don't really want an open relationship because I think I do when I have enough pussy. But right, that's the thing. Right. But then you, but then you didn't because right. you know what I'm saying. If you did, because you like the thing was, yeah, you weren't on tour, but you still could have been talking and dating people, but you weren't interested in that because it seems like you were just interested more in her, and the jealousy started forming because that's not. Well, I really fell in love. Well, I fell in love. Yeah. That was my issue that's what because I'm I ended up spending oh. too much time together. You know, exactly. and now we're getting into my shit, which I apologize. It doesn't need to be no, about me. No, it's fine. This but, is no, fair, no, baby. no, Mark. This is great. We're talking Listen, about it. This is one okay. of This is perfect, bro. This okay. is perfect. Okay. Cool. And I will also but, say what I was trying to say earlier. Um, what was the thing you said? I, I would, I should have rebuttal. Oh, what Major said something about she ain't have to. What'd you say? Flirt. I'll she said know. she ain't got to flirt. Yeah, oh, I have to go out oh, here and flirt are, and do and take pretty Instagram pics and I have to. real. If we're being real, and I'm since I'm the only one with titties and vagina on here, I will say flirting wholeheartedly gets you more business and more money. Not even the fucking, but just having people. It's a network team. Hey, Roxy, 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 Roxy. Roxy. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Roxy, Roxy. Now, now, in in all fairness, and to be to be real here, you have to be because to be completely real here on the real, straight up. I've worked with Roxy for a long time. Roxy is very, very talented. Okay. She do her own shows and all that kind of stuff, whatever. I have seen big names specifically just try to give her opportunities just because of like that, for real. And it's like not even not even saying that she didn't deserve it, but like, but like they were like more interested in her looks than her talent. And it's we're crazy. both, which is crazy because Rock is <laughs> the most honest people I know. But guys are such guys. And we know this. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. just such horn dogs. Like I've seen guys talk to Roxy and I'm like, did, did y'all not see her killer set? I'd be like, yo, oh yeah, you know. You know we get mad. Funny. This should be funny to I'll me. Be like, so mad I'm her. She did great. Like that is somebody uncle for real. <laughs> Talk <laughs> about her <laughs> jokes. <laughs> get out her face. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, look, because if y'all if y'all know me, like, like Roxy really is one of my best friends. She really is for real. I'm like I don't. I want like I want our game to be level. Like if you are funny, you are funny. Mm -hmm. Man, woman, I don't. It don't matter. Like and I respect what bothers that. me. What bothers mm -hmm. me is when it's like dudes who have power, who are more so just corny or lame, never had, never got no, ne ne never had none growing up, and now they find a little position, they got a little power, 
Leverage. They want to do it, and it's and yep. it's in leverage. And instead of like giving the opportunities to the talented, deserving women, they try to give it to the girl they're trying to smash. Trying to and will make it, yeah. and will make it even worse. Will make it even worse is that they get opportunity to the girl because they want to smash, and they so corny and they so lame. They, they don't even smash anyway. They don't ever smash. They, they don't ever smash. 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 They don't ever I, I I'm, know I'm, these a, I know these I'm gonna keep it real with you. Uh, a lot. Uh, that is true. I didn't want to say it out loud. I didn't want to say it out loud. Uh, but Roxy and Chindu has heard me say this. A lot of comedians are lame. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> like I have a rule. I have a rule. No sleeping with comedians. I have that. I don't do it. He's so adamant. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just me. <laughs> Or whatever, but let a woman come somewhere in, in a space with a whole bunch of other male comedians. It's like every nigga's dick is hard immediately. They can't right. control themselves. It don't even matter how the woman looks. But let's get to that real fast. Yo. I should talk about flirting. First of all, Roxy, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Like whatever is your uh, uh uh, and this for anybody watching, whatever is your unfair advantage, use that. White people been using their unfair advantage white for, for sure. And, and, yeah. and so, you know what I'm saying? I would give, I would give clap. I won't hold my phone, but yeah. yeah. But yeah. Last TV, but, uh, go ahead. Huh? I, 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 I mean, I mean, just to your point, though, I saw, I remember I saw on Vlad TV, uh, the comedian Hope Flood said that Jamie Foxx used to use singing in his early career when certain mm -hmm. jokes weren't going well, he would bring them back with singing. He said the comedians didn't like that, though, but guess what, though? He can sing, though. Why would you <laughs> do that? You got to use your tools. Yeah. Whatever is your unfair advantage. Use that oh, to your greatest ability to put you in I'm the space in, where you need to be. So if you what up, if, the, nipples hard? Okay. What up, Theo? <laughs> if you do, out, bro. Hey, what's cracking, bro? bro? What's good? <laughs> yeah, they bogus. They bogus. Do I don't that. know you, bro, but that's rude. <laughs> oh my bad. What up, Theo? What's good? What's he got to make a salad. Up, okay. <laughs> hey, y'all ruthless, G. But, 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 it just, it just, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I was thinking about last night. So, That's that. That's the two cobbler from Crack T-shirt. And he got the AC on in the in the in the, in the room. Damn. <laughs> 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 we all wait. Wait, wait. 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 We're not for the roast I'm sorry, Theo. I'm, I'm, I'm Theo, 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 wait, wait, wait. Can we? Can we? Hey, hey, can we? Hey, Kenise, we will. We uh, we are gonna let you uh, uh finish your point though. But I, I, I wanna, I wanna welcome to the uh, to, to the floor. I get homie Theodore. Please welcome Theodore Taylor. Correct, yeah. Lyson Taylor. Right? My uh, homie Theodore. Please welcome. Very funny comedian as well. Uh, currently Ooh. out there in, in in Los Angeles. Very funny. Y'all book him. Very talented. Book him in movies, good, TV Theodore. shows, everything. Uh, Theodore. Uh, um, we uh, uh, we're currently in the in the discussion. Uh, our, our topics are uh, dating a creative, the ups and the downs. And uh, we definitely want to get uh, your take after Kenny's uh, finishes uh, the point he had going before. We would definitely like to uh, get your take. It's uh, the topic is dating a creative, an up and a down about it. I can only think about the down. <laughs> 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 this nigga saying this as a married man, y'all. <laughs> he has a wedding ring. <laughs> I can only think about the <laughs> problems that would have occurred in the creative. Yo! Yeah, I'm not at all, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah. So, what are the doubts? Uh, competing, man. Competing, constantly competing. It's like, Trick is to try to get a creative not in your field. Yes. Wow. If, you, if you can do that, then you're golden. It, like I'm uh married to an artist. Like she's a she's a she's a like visual artist, right? So uh if you if, if she was a comedian, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we want you to go to it makes no sense. So yeah, that's the trick. We, we, I missed the last part. You start breaking Yo, up a little bit. Yeah, but. Sorry, I was breaking up I do have a plus, actually, a great plus that I've had in dating uh, an actual comedian before. Uh, yeah. She was, she talked, look, so the way you hustle, right? The way you hustle. 
I don't know how it is in, in Houston, really, but in L.A., there could be three to four mics you could hit in a night, right? But where, what mics are you hitting? What are you doing at those mics? What kind of things are you trying to do? There's a lot of send-offs in the city. There's a bunch of bait and switch. Like, hey, everybody go to the store because you can get on Kill Tony, and that's close to Joe Rogan. So there'll be, there'll be 500 comics there, right, thinking that they can get a spot. Or you can go to the east side where there's a whole bunch of comics that are literally work, like in connections with Comedy Central. Yeah, they're a little lame. Yeah, they're a little left, left, you know, very liberal. But the people that you're making relationships with are like this. Or improv night. Okay, you go to an improv night, you may meet the motherfuckers that are on New Negro, Negroes that are doing a show. So I wasn't hip to how... Where, where to spend my time. I was going to a lot of similar places, hustling with my friends, you know, going with people that I'm comfortable at for many years. And then I, then I started talking to her. And she was like, you should go to other mics. You're funnier. You should go here because n- niggas, them niggas over there are degenerates. You know what I'm saying? And that's, some shit, that a woman, that's a, a, some shit that a woman can do with when she sees the game and be like, yes, I see you here rather than where you see yourself. And that's some shit that, you know what I'm saying? You may not see it. Yo, niggas ain't going to tell you that. Men and other Your dudes mark- ain't going to say it. So that's mm-hmm. your mark, mark, Mark. You are, you are, you are, you are very correct though. Because honestly, like, like my wife is very instrumental in any mm-hmm. success I have in comedy, for real. Because, like, I was, like, I was. We're all funny. We're all. That's the thing. We're all funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, mm-hmm. it's, 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 a, it's a matter of your business prowess and your yes. work ethic. And for yes. me, like my my like, I was working at the school district too, and like for the longest time, my my girls making more money than me. And like, I'll be real, child. That bothered me. Like, I did not Fuck like. That my girl made more money than me, for real. Like it's not even. I'm not saying that she. I'm not saying she can't do what she does. Whatever. It wasn't. It wasn't a knock on her. It was more so a knock on me. Like I'm not doing enough because you feel like you're doing shows. Because he said, he said in L.A. you can hit three mics a night. It's not the same way in Houston per se. Mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. terms of like comedy clubs, because like we have, we have one actual comedy club. And right. We have a whole bunch of places that just do comedy on certain nights. Uh-huh. Not knocking. I guess you want to talk about how how the other comedy club owner ran off with the money. I bet you won't. 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 Yo, hey. Hey, but, um, but, but, for you, no, uh, nigga, we not but, skipping over that. Who stole the money? <laughs> Roxy, edit this out. But who stole the money? You know who. Kanish, you know who. He had, he, he actually, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Yeah, he took he it, actually, yes. He took the money and he didn't pay all the people. He pay, oh, okay, yeah. Like, like, he, didn't didn't pay, he, he ain't paid none of them people and he knew, he knew, he knew before he built the new club. That they were ah, all right. Oh. Hey, so, uh, so, 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 was so mad because okay at this particular comedy club there was a wall of fame like of, of like you know so you like if, if he asked you to you could put your sign autograph on the thing and Chinadu was so excited he got his picture printed in this really nice frame and he signed it and we had like this whole event for it like Chinadu's going on the wall oh, no. of it. I did I did I did I, I did a whole show around like me like Putting on my thing on the wall because I did a whole set, right? And then I was like, hey, God, I got an announcement. Just add because, like, I had did like that was my 18th sold out show. There, the 18th sold out show, like 18 sold out show, guys. We're going on the wall. I put it on the wall. On my 18th show, I had a cake and everything, right? I had a cake and everything. Oh, right. I remember this. You remember, right, Denise? I remember a cake. And somebody yo, made the cake or something like that. Yo, yeah. yo, and then Roxy, go ahead, Roxy, go ahead, Roxy, go ahead. And then he moved to the new club or whatever, and then he just like was like, "Up, oh, it's shutting mm. down." But he knew the whole time it was shutting down, even before he built it. And so he basically was just like taking the loan money. Like, you, know how you, know? you know how like, I knew? There's a little like, special B word. Called bankruptcy. bankruptcy. That shit baby. don't just happen in a week. That, that nigga knew. That's like a year. He been new before he built it, and then he just left. 
and he took Chinadu picture. Like so Chinadu just never got he his oh, nigga picture. <laughs> Cold. Cold. <laughs> so Chinadu just on his wall at home, probably. <laughs> In an Amazon shirt. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> in the office. Ah. <laughs> and he eating cake. Yeah. Look yeah. at this nigga on his wall at home. Wait, he bought a cake. <laughs> Bro. Bro, no, 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 I, no, I didn't buy my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, uh, my, my fans bought me one for the show. My fans, my okay. friend, my, my fans bought me one. Man, it was Craig like, involved. That, 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 the whole time. Did he, did he eat a slice? Yeah. Did that nigga eat a slice looking at you knowing the clothes yes. shut down? That is yes. terrible. Right. He still got a slice, nigga. That ain't shit, bro. You got your picture, dog. This nigga got your picture, bro. Hey, this you, man. This show, you, you doing two. it? Hey, it's about you. <laughs> hey, no, this shit was about to be. Hey, this shit was about to be. Hey, 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 but for real though, like, and then and like when 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 everything ended up like shutting down, all right, I still had, I I had three shows booked at the venue, and he just sent me a text one day say. Hey, gotta cancel your show. Sorry, and I was like, "What?" I thought, well, no, no, no. I ain't paid deposit. I ain't paid deposit. No, no, no. I, I paid deposit. It was just a rolling over deposit for like two, three years because I kept doing shows. And then when it closed, I'm like, "What? That motherfucker owe me one fifty for my deposit." Why like, your yeah. deposit was only one fifty? Wow. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Rock was flirting. <laughs> Rock was flirting. Rock was flirting. And that's the tool. Nah, nah, nah. It costs three hundred to to book It costs three hundred, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's so it's it's one fifty. Yeah. I mean, it's one fifty. The disrespect is just getting worse. Get the the bitch get rolled over. <laughs> the one fifty keep getting rolled over. <laughs> Man. One. <laughs> Hold on, major, major. How much did you pay? Huh? I huh? gave him all three of them shit. <laughs> You oh. gave him three, three, three hundreds. No, you gave him nine hundred dollars. And this is what it's like to date a creative. <laughs> three, three. Oh my God. This is what it's like to date a creative because that one fifty matters. That shit yeah, matter, that one bro. matters. Yeah. Now that, and here go the crazy part about that one fifty. It's <laughs> not even really that is money I need. <laughs> It's the principle, it's you the know principle what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers don't know how long it took you to get here. I Yo. broke even that show. I might pay eighty dollars. That could have been <laughs> one fifty on top of that thirty. Motherfuckers don't understand. It takes like to even being able to book your own <laughs> show. Most of us don't even yeah. have fans, and to be able to book your own show, Man, it was, took us a while to get here. Club last, I was at club last night, and I was talking to this kid. And he had been doing comedy for three months, and he was like, "Yeah, man, my friends was making fun of me because I, I, mean, I got paid for forty dollars. I got paid sixty dollars my show. The first time I, I ever got paid was sixty dollars, and I was dancing. And I, he was like, and as everybody was looking at me like, what the fuck you dancing for sixty dollars? I was like, I played up, but they didn't know how much I needed that sixty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. So, right." When you get that 150, it's what you paid off with that. Like, oh, oh god, yeah, I done burnt yeah, that no. down. Hey, I'm sorry, three hey. times. <laughs> <laughs> That's just ruthless. I <coughs> hey, you know, get here, man. man. To, uh, but to, but like to, to to speak on that though, on on like the business part. The business part is where like I feel like. I talk like I speak a lot on, and I definitely speak speak a lot on special stuff like comedy pages too, though, because that part is important to have. Like, like, like when Mark, what you said, like in LA, all the opportunities in Houston, it's not that many, so you have to make your own. Like, so for mm -hmm. me, all the shows I do, it, I do it myself. Like, I book my own shows. All the cities, my current tour now, I'm on it right now, featuring the homie Major Smith. Very hilarious, by the way. Really? Nice, my nice. Out there killing. You know what I'm saying? So for us uh, down here. You have to really make your own way. You have to do your own shows and book it yourself because the places in like, like, and of course there's, there's there's politics everywhere, right? You know, and you have to like you have to know the right people, things right. like that. But if you don't, 
and you don't have time to do that. Because for me, I ain't had time to do that. I got a wife, I got a kid. I don't have time to be at this comedy club because this dude and might be here. My you daughter, got politics at a place where ain't no motherfucking network. You know what I'm saying? Ain't shit happening. Where but that's is when it's the worst. Yeah, what do we have politics? What are we gatekeeping? What are we gatekeeping? <laughs> Opening up? For a YouTube yeah, star, like nigga, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. What are you gatekeeping, nigga? Being being, being able to wow. get paid fifty dollars on the weekend, nigga. What are yeah. you and, and, and two and drinks and, 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 and the food and the pay and a food. Thank you, Major. The pay, the pay be so crazy for comedy because at minimum, at minimum, if you can, you should pay your people. If you can pay your people, at least. $50 for five That's minutes, man, man. At least $50 for five minutes, $100 for 10. Yeah. Man, look, $100 for one person. You just... pay people that too? They, when you pay people that, especially comics or whatever, that you, that even the ones that you cool with, when you pay them that, they don't give a fuck about it. They don't give a fuck about it. It's like, it just lets them know. Right. That, oh, you yeah, That's all. Right. Yeah. That's all. Like, I don't it's care it's how much. Yeah. I came out here because I fuck with you. That's why I'm doing this. Yeah, you keep I was going to be here regardless. regardless. Yeah, yeah, but you paid yeah. me, showed me that you respect me and you fuck with me back. That's yeah, it. Yeah. I don't need that hundred dollars. It's respect. Hold on, yeah. One second, y'all. Yeah. One second. Hold on one second. Yeah. Uh, talk again, Theo, because you keep sounding low. Uh, talk. Let me see. Fuck it. Just I think it's hello. Oh, there we go. Test. Test. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, because you keep sounding what? far away, and I see you keep talking. But then we can't hear you. So I turned it up, so you should be good now. Would I be disrespectful if I got oh, some okay. ice cream right now? No, no you get it, get it. I got some ice cream hey, right now. Wait, I want a song. Hey, we, hey we can, I, yeah. can I get hey, Mark. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, Mark, why you do that? Hey, uh, be sure to send me your uh, 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 inbox me that, that, that thing, though, Mark. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm going to send it. I'm just afraid to get off of this. Short. I'm going to inbox you mine. You got the strawberry shortcake? What did uh, I really in ice cream orders, nigga? It's gonna be melted when it gets to Houston. No, I'm in LA. Mark, bring me ice cream. Oh, Let shit. me get the Looney Tunes. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> give me the Powerpuff Girls. Give me the Powerpuff Girls or Choco Taco. Choco Taco. Hey, sir. All right, cool. No, I mean, that's the best though. Taco ice cream. You don't even know. That nigga got real tacos. Mark, give me a Choco Taco. Shut up, Theo. Mark, give me a Choco Taco. There's no way I'm getting you ice cream. I'm not even near my own house. So, Thank you. With the spoon, too. Thank you. Man. Hey, hey, oh, hey gotta give me a shaved ice. I want a, I want a shaved <laughs> ice. Hey, I does just, he have any? Hey, does he have any? Uh, 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 for the chocolate, any time I window? Ooh, ask him. Ask him. Do you have any aqua fresta? Hey, ask him. Do you, ask you have aqua fresta? Do you have aqua fresta? Do you have aqua fresta? This nigga aqua had fresca. cash on him, bro. Yeah, I have aqua fresca. No, <laughs> thank you, sir. So long. Okay. Thank I feel you. Like a newscaster. Like, oh, he had like oh, a rich oh, five dollar oh, bill. Okay. No, good. Thank I you. Ask him if he has any aqua like or, or fresca. Or like I'm so. He said five dollar bill. I have. I, I'm so like out of it, bro. I would have been asking, uh, "What's your cash app?" That's what I would have been telling you. <laughs> and then I would have been mad. Nigga, you ain't got no cash app. You out here doing business? Hey, man. Yeah. You got to get here, Apple man. Play, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Be like, hey, I got a Galaxy. I ain't got no iPhone. Then you like, hold on. You ain't got no iPhone. Wait a minute. In this economy? <laughs> What's happening? Um, you doing that. You doing wrong. <laughs> I am with it. Um, and I know we talked yeah, about yeah, this way, yeah. way earlier, yeah. this interview, but I would <laughs> like to tell the story of dating a creative and almost marrying a creative. Um, how oh, oh, was. oh, well, well, uh, well, 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 well no, no, wait, wait, but, but, hey, but before, we, before we get into it, though, let's tell a story. Let me tell it first, though, too, because, like, because, uh, because the way you're gonna tell it, you're gonna be so emotional. Well, listen, at first he was so this, and then I felt that in my heart that he was so kind, in my heart, in, in my heart, in, in, in my heart. Is this the one I was nonsense. making fun of you about Let Orange is the New Black? Wait, you what? Is this the one I kept making fun of you about? The Probably. prison marriage story? The prison marriage story or some shit? No, that was, who was yeah. that? You remember oh. somebody? Whoa, whoa, yeah. this is weird now. You thought, you thought yeah. that I was, wait, what you, Somebody got out of prison and proposed. No, no, that was somebody else. Oh. <laughs> listen, y'all, we got, listen, let's say, we, listen, y'all, 
<laughs> this no, is I had got out of prison. No, that was right. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Orange is the new yeah, black. Okay. Yeah. And I kept saying, yeah. Well, I was like, right, so you got to. Hey, you want to put your you want to put your mug shot up real quick? For the... no. Don't. Hey, 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 <laughs> being y'all, being Roxy's friend, just being her friend, y'all, is an adventure <laughs> in itself. Okay, it's an adventure. Being is a whole adventure. Like the guy she was about to marry, right? I'm not gonna say his name, nothing like that, right? She was marrying some uh, he was an artist, whoever, right? Okay, that's not. I, his name. I told her, I told her from jump, this dude is a bum. Now look, there you go, there you go. <laughs> that was real. Roxy, you were serving. Roger, you were serving. You were serving. I ain't gonna no. lie. Hey, why you got your name? I ain't gonna lie. You look like a badass. What was that Pokemon name with the fire? Motrice? <laughs> you put Motrice. a picture on that bitch. That is not what that shit looked like. Motrice. Thank Motrice. you. Motrice. Thank you. Roger, you put Roger, a picture on that bitch. That is not what that shit looked like. Album cover. Roger, normally you be looking like a tall ass broccolini. But this time, girl, hey, man. You look like you look like a great value fire stick. I don't know something. You, you look great. You look that, great make, that, make that the cover of you the stand good. up, girl. That's the cover. Like, that's like the headshot. Like somebody see it and be like, you know what? I think she, I can do something with her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she, she can be somebody. Roxy, I ain't gonna lie, but you should use that as your one of your acting headshots as like one of your <laughs> like photos. You, like you homeless, but that's your first day. You like, know what I'm saying? Like, like it, <laughs> it's giving me, it's giving me, you know, uh, all she needs is out of jail, <laughs> fish out of water situations. Right. Shut the fuck up. It's giving me best friend from the hood <laughs> reunited. It's giving me oh, Shut Freaky up. Friday. <laughs> It's giving me man, she was in her days on the 30th. She's to make A's and B's right now. Right. Right. You know, you know, I, you know I wouldn't lie to you, Roxy. You know I wouldn't lie to you, Roxy. That was a beautiful <laughs> mugshot, real shit. Shut Roxy, up, go ahead. Bro, it, 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 it legit was, okay? Um, <laughs> yo, so I met this dude, right? No, don't For tell me. me. I'm a no. I'm gonna tell everything. I'm gonna tell you. We're telling stories. I'm telling tell everything. <laughs> no, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> I'm gonna be like. <laughs> no, they don't know. <laughs> for me, for me, like my beliefs on this may sound crazy to some people, but I'm very big on if you're gonna be in a relationship, especially at our age, you need to financially be able to handle certain things. Like I'm not into like at past because we're over thirty to me. I'm not interested in hearing nothing about no dude talking about, hey, I need to borrow, can I borrow it? I'm not trying to hear none of that, especially with, with my friends, my, my girlfriends. I'm not interested. So I did a show that night, right? We did a show. I was on the show. So I think Major was too, and I think, and, and Roxy as well. We all killed. Great show, right? We go okay. next door to the Mexican restaurant to eat, right? Go next door to the Mexican restaurant to eat, whatever, because we always go out to eat after every show. I had to leave early that night because I had to wake up the, uh, uh, the next morning, though, because uh, um, I do it. I, I, I have a um, an early morning gig that that, that, I, that I work too, so I, I had to leave around like 10, 30, whatever. So I only I, I ordered like some taquitos and appetizers. I ate like half of one because I knew I had to go. I told Roxy, I was like, "Hey, Roxy, I said, hey, uh, I'm about to uh, I'm, I'm I'm about to jet out. You know, you want to grab one? Go ahead. Tell me why this nigga reached over like three to four people and immediately grabbed all of them. <laughs> like, he that's broke was activity. So bad. That's well, 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 no, no, well, 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 let me, let me, let me go back a little bit further. So before the show, right, my comedian, you know, saying he was supposed to also bring some, uh, you know, some, some, some marijuana. If you know marijuana, is, you watching all them canvas, you know that marijuana. You know what I'm saying? He mm -hmm. supposed to bring some marijuana for the comedians mm -hmm. on the show. Got comedians on my show that smoke some marijuana. He get there, I was like, hey, hey, mm -hmm. hey bro, you, hey, bro, you got the marijuana? He, this, this is what he said. Oh man, bro, I'm so. Man, my dude hit me up. He never hit me back, man. I was so pissed off, man. Oh, he said it just like that, y'all. <laughs> don't do his voice like that. Don't do his voice like that. Man. He does sound like he said, No, he said, he said, oh. Roxy is he said, over. Leave him alone. Do his voice like that, dude. Please. This nigga, this nigga said, oh. oh. <laughs> 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 I hate you. 
you meet this guy at? Where did you find this guy at? He was a painter, oh, and the. Theo, that's the one where you. Yeah, like, no, no, he no. He, he, he was from not, the future. No, no, <laughs> no, Roxy. What do you think? What do you think? And, and Roxy, he and, and the thing was, he was a, Erica Badu. No, 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 Roxy. No, no. He was a tall dude. He like six three. He in shape, dude. Roxy got a type. He he looked athletic. Roxy got a type, y'all. Look at her biting her tongue. She got a type. You got to be super swollen on a heel. You know, he didn't say he is like he in shape, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's her type. So I can tell, I can tell what's physical. I can tell, I can tell this one, I can tell this one of her hoes, because she had hoes, you know what I'm saying? She's like, oh yeah. Like she like J. broke, she J. like broke Jack nigga. Yo, shut up, like, yo, so, shut up Major. I disagree with Roxy having a type. No, I can't agree with you. The guys, no, no, like, no. it's all over the spectrum, yeah. okay? Why so, are we doing yeah. this right now? Wait, no, let's so, talk about it. Wow. <laughs> no. No, no, so, Roxy's so, type was a wrestler. Right, uh, it would be gold dust. <laughs> no, nah, it'd be like this <laughs> <laughs> or gangrel. Gangrel. Okay, this I, it, we everybody got to do their type. Then if we're gonna do this, I okay, like hey, 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 yo, yo, yo. No, we're doing it. I like them either tall and muscular or skinny and a little dusty. Like I like them to look like I said. One of my friends said, uh, I like yeah. I like dudes that look like they got a skateboard but don't skateboard. Look, look I like. Ah, yes, 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 yeah, I was, I, that? I still want to know who said that. To my friend Jessica. <laughs> that is She's hilarious. Like, man. She said and they have a light layer of dust on them. So they don't be a little <laughs> like <laughs> They came in from a sandstorm. This is Roxy. Hold on, come here. Oh. <laughs> you shut up. No. Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, for real. Roxy was making a Roxy was making a Roxy was making money, right? She's making a, she's making a, she's making a really good money to take care of her and her family. She's doing really good at this point, whatever. This dude ain't doing nothing. So every time I'm looking up, whatever, like, like it's like Roxy doing it's it's something she asked for from Roxy. I look up, well, hey Roxy, come out here. Oh, I can't make sure. Now this part made me real mad. I was this part I was like, look, Roxy, no, nah, I'm finna like nah, like give me his number because we we gotta talk. I had a show, right? She couldn't make it to a show one time because this nigga had her car. Yeah, he oh, took my no. car. His car oh, wasn't working. Baby boy, he baby boy. Roxy, did you not know you had a show? <laughs> Here's the thing. He had a show. Shut up. He had an art show earlier, and so he had took my car to the art show. He's supposed to bring it back, but he was still at the art show. Okay, so, bet. All right. Uh, but, All right but I will say, I will say that relationship taught me that I cannot date a creative who doesn't know what they're doing, like a person who's just like. Floating the fuck around, cause that yeah, look, look, there we go. What I, I did he create? No, he was a painter and he was really good, but he like legit was a slow painter. Like he was one of them painters like that, so he'd be working on the painter like, for like a uh, year. All right, that's it for the day, and then walk away. <laughs> 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 like, yeah. The thing is, like the paintings, the paintings when they sold, they would sell for like thousands, but it, it, like it took a year. Years. So, yeah. yeah, so Come on, like, a year. Listen, Roxy, I'm not, no cap, even no the cap. painting was collecting dust. So you love, you fell in love with the painting too. You saw the painting, it was like <laughs> the painting. <laughs> oh. You be asking this nigga, "What you doing?" Oh man, I'm still doing this painting shit, bro. I still got this one piece. I ain't gonna lie, yo, yo, like he would paint with his shirt off. It was physical, and he would be just being there painting, and I'll be getting horny. Uh, if we gonna be nasty, oh, I put this big I white that's painting. Hot. I won't be that high. Right, we didn't ask for all this extra. <laughs> what you that that nigga ass kicks out. He fucking <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. Sometimes he was keep painting, and sometimes he wouldn't. It depends on the level of dick suck. Since we talk about it, it was blunt opinion. Oh, no one was talking about it. By the way, <laughs> you know what's funny about this? <laughs> That's why he wasn't getting the job done, nigga. <laughs> That's why you <laughs> were all here. It's your fault. Yeah, go for a thousand. It could have got done in the motherfucking 30 days. But she was getting turned on, stopping the nigga dick hustle. out Damn. in the middle of work. Exactly. This nigga trying to focus. Yeah, damn. Let he he wow. worried about that paint, but he painted so off. Man. <laughs> He's got to make it no money it. off those paintings. Okay. Uh, my body. Yeah, damn. My body hurts. 
It's all good when you find out what the real issue is. Bro, no, my no, 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 you would never done? work. What are you really getting <laughs> done while you get your pussy ate if it's being done correctly? <laughs> That's said, also true. Up. Come on. See, I Think write, about that. I just write on stage, so... I like to you write said, on stage. Another, so that's another plus. While I'm telling, I like to write on stage. Say well, you got your dick sucking on stage. What'd you say? I, was, I like to write on stage. So, you know. Wait, it's still breaking up. Oh, oh, this it has to be okay. Oh, okay. okay. Yo, Chinna do me and Kenny's was like, nigga, what? Say it, say it, where, where, nigga, where'd you do it? <laughs> I'm like, that's why the comedy club. Let, me go, let me go in and come back. That's why the comedy club. club. Let me go back in. <laughs> over. No, but okay. No, that's not my fault. No, he was he was we, a we don't know right. He wrote on the mattress. Y'all know the story. I'm not gonna do it. And he oh, lied. Oh, he I know this person. Yeah, that's that guy. And he went on a reality show and he got kicked off on the first episode. And he lied about having another child on the way. So it's not on me. He wrote on a mattress. I don't get that. Yeah, what he, he write? thought I cheated. I after we broke up, he said I cheated on him after I, we broke up, and then he was coming to get some of his stuff or some weird shit. And he wrote on the bed that he had left that I was still using. I'll send you a picture. But he, like, I was taking the sheets off the bed to wash them. And on there, it was like, you a hoe. You a trash ass hoe. Enjoy the bed. She likes anal. And he drew a smiley face like that on there. And it was oh, his first, man. First of all, uh, I'm pretty sure he wasn't lying about anything he said. But I'm here goes the thing. <laughs> I'm not a trash hoe. Nor was I a whore during the relationship. Before, of course, but during, yeah. no. Again, yeah. Do y'all see? Do y'all see the dudes that rocks be dating? Do y'all see why I be getting mad at the dudes? Time out. Like, hey, Chin, this is my boyfriend. I'm like, who is this? Time out. I want y'all to realize something real fast. Roxy said he went there to go pick up something, and he wrote, he wrote, "F you." Uh, uh, she likes ain't no uh, uh, you know, whatever. First of all, yeah. he helped you out. If I came to your house and I saw that written down, I'd be like, Yes, and that's what? how it's like. What? This nigga's helping Only me. Good pussy make you do things like I that. would be happy to hear that the chick I'm a, like, I haven't slept with is a hoe. Yes, we fuck it for sure. <laughs> I would be yeah. happy to <laughs> the first, first time I walked well, first of all, though. you should be thanking him. That's number one. Number two. You see, you said he came up there to pick something up, and he wrote that down. You see how quickly he can get shit done when he's black and motivated? I'm just saying, you see how quick the stroke was on writing that down when you're not doing something Whoa. to his other brush? Like, just, 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 Roxy, the call know. is coming from inside the house. <laughs> okay. Denise. <laughs> Fuck you, Kenise. That's not no. No. Be real. No. I'm not taking that. No. No. Fuck y'all. Talk about y'all type, Kenise. My type is be My type is, my type is easy. My type is easy. Just easy. Type. That's it. Next next question. Kenise. Next question. Next question. <laughs> nah, for real, I like I like women who are in the church who love God. Who like doing Bible study and chill? No, 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 What's the type? Uh, let's see. Five seven, slim yet curvy. Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, athletic built, but slightly out of shape. Um, I, I know exactly oh, wait, what, what you mean. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, it's tone, but still got flab. Yeah, oh, you know. Okay. Um, uh, classy, but like a it like, jiggles. like se ratchet seasoning. Like oh, um, like I love it. it. <laughs> right, musically no, tied with a singing and or play an instrument. Uh, let's see. You said what happened? I said musically inclined, can sing and or play an instrument. Oh, uh, yeah. She got to be able to blow. 
So oh, most likely boy. a wood win. Oh, oh, come, on <laughs> come on. He talking now. A wood he win. Talking. <laughs> Go ahead, Major. Keep going. And, and to the people watching, this just my build a bear like fantasy bitch. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm I'm not, I'm open. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no type for real. <laughs> if I was gonna build my own bitch, it would look just like that. That's amazing. That's amazing. Wood yeah. wood win lips. Wind li- <laughs> Come on. I think listen, has wood we all know some. Hey, hey, brother, you, you, you preaching, you preaching today, brother. You are preaching today, brother. We've learned it. I'm, I'm, I'm you got a, Mark, boy, you got a tight? Mark, Mark, you there? Margo. Margo. Well, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll come back tomorrow. Theodore. Well, I mean, it's, I mean, Theodore. It's me. tightening it to Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Theodore. <laughs> you got what? Well, Theodore, I know I know, I, I, I know, you happily married. And I don't know if your wife watched this and nothing like that. I don't know if you want to stay on the safe side. I'm going to stay on the safe side. My sub, my type is my wife. Completely. I don't. Uh, I don't say my wife. I don't. Uh, Don't even ask me. My wife is my wife. I mean, it is what it is. Food. <laughs> <laughs> food. <laughs> <Even> food. <laughs> That's real. Oh, man. I mean, geez. That's my. Uh, is Mark coming back? Uh, we're about to have to wrap, y'all. I just saw what time it is. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, man. This is. This has been a great episode, though. Um, uh, as we as we conclude the episode of uh, of Blunt Opinion right here on All Deaf Cannabis, I want to thank all of our guests. Uh, I want to thank Mark Boyd if he comes back in, Major Smith, homie uh, Theodore Taylor, Kenise One Hundred K, and uh, of course our very talented, super dope producer out here, Miss Roxy Hayes. She's the thank best. You. Please, please follow, please follow everybody on social media. Uh, I want to highlight the homie Kenise One Hundred K. If you are on TikTok. Black Pop Quiz is a phenomenon, and y'all better listen. If you do not watch Black Pop Quiz on TikTok, you boys are sleeping. Kenise is killing, killing on there, okay? Y'all check them out. Please check out everybody you see here. We're all talented comedians. Um, other than that, oh, we'll see you guys in the next episode of Blunt Opinion. I've been your host, Shinadu. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.